A teen now faces a child endangerment charge in connection with the deaths of a two-month-old baby in Newport last night. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Alex Torres Perez goes over the latest in this investigation and the history of police calls to the apartment. Alex? We are still less than 24 hours into this very active investigation for the death of that two month old baby, but police records show this isn't the first time officers responded to that apartment. Pages of police call logs show years of violence at the same apartment at the Festival Field housing development off Girard Avenue, from teens being assaulted to disorderly conduct and threats of fights. And on Thursday night, a nightmare scenario, the death of a two month old baby. I mean, just incredibly sad, obviously, feeling for, you know, any family and, uh, you know, a little bit confusing as well, but just super sad. Police records show firefighters were at the apartment complex for about half an hour trying to save the infant's life. During that time, Newport police say a fight broke out and one of their officers got punched in the face. But their focus was on the child who was pronounced dead at the hospital. 1712 News Law Enforcement Analyst Stephen O'Donnell says takes a mental toll on officers. You can't erase that from your brain, and it's hard for a, a police officer to show up, see that, and then go home and you know have to deal with that because uh, you have young kids. So the message is they're going home and hugging their kids one more time when they see something like that. A 17-year-old teen was taken into custody for the death of the infant. It's unclear how he's related to the baby, but he is facing a felony child endangerment charge. He's currently at the Rhode Island Training School, but O'Donnell says he could be charged as an adult. That's up to the courts based on the charges. You know, a 17 year old person, I would be willing to say that he'd probably be waived into adult court based on his age, based on past history. It's just an awful situation across the board. A two month old baby is just um, inherently wrong on many, many levels. The teen is expected to appear in court again later this month. Reporting in Newport, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. An infant is dead and a teenager is facing a criminal charge. That teen is now at the state training school. The scene was chaotic in Newport last night as a fight broke out while firefighters worked to save the child's life. Alex Torres Perez breaks down what happened and how the community is reacting. Alex. Community members are heartbroken by the death of this two month old baby and with a teenager in custody, people I spoke with just want answers. Uh, yeah, how they related and kind of what the circumstances were. Tragedy overnight after Newport police got a call of a child not breathing at the Festival Field housing development. The police call log says first responders got to the scene shortly before 11 and started performing CPR on the two month old baby for about half an hour. During that time, a large crowd gathered and Newport police say a fight broke out where an officer was punched in the face while trying to break it up. No arrests from the fight were immediately made as first responders focused on saving that baby's life. He was taken to Newport Hospital where he was pronounced dead. It's a tragedy no matter how it happens, you know, I mean, it's just, you, you got to feel for the family. An autopsy will be performed to determine the baby's cause of death. A 17 year old teenager is in the Rhode Island training school in connection to this death. It's still unclear how the teen is related to the infant, but he appeared in family court Friday morning to be arraigned on a felony child endangerment charge. So this particular particular person is being charged as a juvenile at this point in time, being held without bail until within a 10 day period, probably attorney general and the Newport police will get together and figure out is this something is this something more different than child endangerment? 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell says it will be up to the courts to determine whether the team will be charged as an adult or minor. The teen is set to appear in court again later this month. Police records show a history of calls for disorderly conduct, assault, and even threats of violence at the apartment complex where this all happened. Reporting in Newport, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.